everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf organization video. I am so excited to be moved into my new house and have my new bookshelves all ready to go. Previously, I've only ever had one Billy bookcase from Ikea. And before I moved, while I was still in the vicinity of an Ikea, I picked up two more Billy bookcases so that I could have a three bookcase spread against this wall in my office for filming and reading and storing my books and just having such a nice setup that I've wanted for so very long. So I'm very excited to have this. I currently have a billion boxes all around me with all of my books in them that need to go up on these shelves. So I thought it would be fun to take you along with me as I am figuring out where my books are gonna go, what my setup's gonna look like. I also wanna have knickknacks on the shelves and I'm also definitely not going to fill up all of these shelves with the books that I have now because previously I've only had one Billy and then a smaller bookcase and then some books kind of sitting around. So I'm definitely not gonna fill up all three of these shelves and I didn't want to coming in either. I wanted to have room to grow and expand my collection. So there's gonna be like empty spaces. I'm gonna have to figure out how to organize it in a cool way where it's like nice and spaced out and looks good having less books on it. So it's gonna be an adventure. It's gonna be a journey. It's gonna take some work and maneuvering, but I'm excited to do it and I'm excited to take you along with me. So I'm just gonna get started. I don't know. I don't have a method. I just need to start opening these boxes and seeing what's in them. I think my initial method is going to be just put books up on the shelves and then we'll figure out where we want to put them after that. So I'm gonna get started and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so that is essentially my first pass at getting the books on the shelves. It fills up a lot more space than I was expecting it to, to be honest, but that's like about what I wanted in terms of space. I don't want it to be completely full for a while because that feels a little bit claustrophobic to me sometimes. So I like that. I like the way we're working with it, but it's completely random. So what I'm thinking I want to do. There's a couple factors that I want to separate books by. First being read versus unread books. I like my TBR to be separate from books that I've read. And then within the books that I've read, I like those to be separated by one, having a favorite shelf. So I have all my favorites. I think I want to put those across the top area. And then I also like those to be separated by genre. So I like to have my horrors and thrillers and romance like all together in places that make sense. So that's what I'm going to aim to do. But first we're going to start by just separating read from unread. I don't know where I want like my TBR to be. Maybe like this second shelf on the left because I want the top to be favorites and I think I want that to go across the whole top. So I'm going to start with that second shelf of being books that I haven't read yet and we'll see how many shelves I need for that. Um, but first I'm going to switch out my camera battery because it's dying. <laughs> done. Those two shelves are my unread books. Everything else is read. But what I forgot about is the books that I'm unhauling slash selling, I put on the shelves. So let me show you. So those two are unread books. Everything else is read. Those are like accent books, like they're short story collections or like this book that I have is the New York, New Yorker book of poems. Like I'm never going to actually read this, but it's a cool book to have. It's just freaking huge so it's gonna go on the bottom somewhere to help weigh it down heavier on the bottom but all the books that I have over here so these two bags full of books and then those books this shelf and that little bit are books that I'm unhauling and selling on my pingo books which is not yet back up because I'm still moving, but will eventually be up. And I will share the link to that once I do have it up so you can buy my books if you want. But 
I don't know, like, do I want to keep these on the shelves as I'm selling them? I don't know. That's something to figure out because if so, I should take them all out of these bags. I feel like it's good to have them on the shelf so I can see them as I'm selling them. They're easy to like pull and get. So... I feel like you're never really gonna see the bottom of my shelves. And I was planning on making that like puzzles and things, but maybe I'll just make the bottom my Pango books that I'm selling. Cause I feel like that's gonna need like three whole shelves for that, 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 and those bags. So I think I'm gonna make those the bottom and keep it completely full so it'll be heavy and weighted down. And if there's still extra space, I'll put in like the accent books and like puzzle stuff or something. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how that looks. So that's my next step. And the whole bottom is books that I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, it's not gonna focus on them with me in it, but the whole bottom is books that I'm gonna be selling on Pingo Books. I also have like this box that I keep my bubble mailers in and then a box that I keep boxes in. So I'm probably gonna try to keep them kind of close or I'm gonna just put them in these closets. I've got two closets over here too, which I'll probably use for storage of the shipping things. So I can move those. And then I'm realizing that I don't think I'm gonna like my TBR being so scrunched up and full together. So I might stretch my TBR across the whole second shelf and then everything lower than that will be books that I've read and then the top shelf will be favorites. So it'll be like top shelf is favorites, second shelf is TBR, very bottom shelf is Pango books. And then that leaves three shelves in the middle for three and four star books. Cause I unhaul books that are like two stars or less, or at least I try to. So that's why I end up on the very bottom. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm going to do the TBR first. I'm gonna stretch the TBR out across the full second shelf and then work on the middle stuff so that I can keep it like heavy on the bottoms and not have it like topple over on me. And then we'll do the favorites last, I think. Uh, yeah, let's do that. result of all of that. That took for freaking ever and it's still not done but it's kind of coming together but there is just like more white space than I necessarily want and I'm just trying to figure out like the best way to space it out and what to put where. Also like my knickknacks are still packed in boxes which makes it difficult because I don't have all of my available things to put on the bookshelves right in front of my eyes so it's kind of hard to try to figure that out. So this is what I'm working with now. What we've got going on, like I said, Pango books, books I'm selling on the bottom. Then these are mostly like thriller mystery type books with some weird stuff mixed in there as well. It's like a little bit contemporary. The next shelf is mostly horror. And then that's YA horror. That's like a romance contemporary vibe. That's like a fantasy vibe. Then we have TBR, which is completely unorganized. And I started putting some of my favorites up on the top so I can like start thinking how to space those out. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I need to take a break, walk away, come back with a fresh mind. So that's what I'm gonna do.
I think I am done. Let me show you around what I did. second and then the second shelf is my TBR which I feel a lot better about how this is organized and I'll walk you through what I did there as well and then we'll look at everything all together in all of its glory. So starting at the top this is my night circus shelf. This is actually a little moon that turns on so I feel like that'll look cool at night with it shining up there with the night circus shelf and this was the Illumicrate special edition that came with like a teacup and things and then I think this candle came from them too. It might have come no yeah this candle would have had to have come from them um that book 10 back there and then the original copy that i had that i actually read this copy and then this is just a beautiful copy to look at and adore over here we have my darker books shelf so horror thriller just darker themes those types of books obviously the island sundial i just love that cover so i wanted to have that one be shown up here who is mont dixon confessions and things have gotten worse since we last spoke and then in the dream house which is a non-fiction memoir but it is very dark and has dark themes and has a really spooky haunted house cover so I thought it would look good on the shelf as well and then over here we have the romance and literary contemporary um this is actually a memoir but the color looks better over here so that is what ended up here that is from my 21st birthday the gold frame love it here with Addie LaRue and then this bicycle up here as well and then a cup that I got from Savannah Georgia which I also thought just looked cute with the colors up here here. So that is that one. And then let me show you my TBR. So over on this shelf, this is going to be my more immediate TBR, like what I'm going to be reading in the next month or so. So these are books I'm interested in right now. And then these are books that I'm going to try to read for Summerween, I think. So this is like my Summerween TBR. These cards I got with the Axe of Violet arc that I got, it came with a little package. I don't really know where to put these. So they're right there for now. And then this is a little thing I painted a long time ago that I really like. And I think it's really vibey. So that ended up just sitting there. And then all my bookmarks are in this container. I have a lot of different kinds of bookmarks, paper, ones I've bought from other creators, um, things that have come in book boxes. This was the Night Circus one. Just a bunch of different bookmark options in there. Then the second shelf is like thriller, mystery, horror type of reads. So just a mix of things that are all in here. And then the third shelf is kind of everything else. So like content temporary, a little bit of romance, literary, weird books that I don't really know what they are. And then this is like my fantasy pile. And then these books are books that I've started before and have just like temporarily DNF'd that I may or may not finish at some point. And so I just put them all over here on the very far side. So that was the top two shelves. And then I'll take you through everything else. Not much has changed. I just added some little decorations and moved a couple things around. So this shelf over here is still my romance shelf and a little bit of non fiction. Then we have my YA horror books. Got my book sleeves over here. Then we have fantasy and a little bit of speculative sci-fi kind of mix over here. Down here there's no books. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with this shelf. It's just kind of decorations right now. Then we have horror, my little Stephen King pop little guy, more horror and weird books, horror novellas, a little bit more horror. These are mostly thriller and weird books, thrillers and mysteries, and thrillers. And then the bottom again is just Pango books that I am selling. So that is it. That is my bookshelf. I'm very happy with it. I'm very glad I got them decorated. I'm excited to fill them up. I'm gonna have to figure out the best filming spot. I'm kind of like squatting right now because there's just no convenient place to really film in front of these yet. But I'm getting a reading chair that I'm really excited about. It's gonna be pink. It's gonna be really cute. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna sit in in front of the shelves. But for right 
right now. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'll probably be on the floor for a little bit. But yeah, I'm really excited to have these shelves. I'm really excited to fill them up. And I hope you had fun watching me organize them. I'm sure they'll go through many iterations of changes along the way, but this is what I'm gonna stick with for a little bit. If you got to the end of the video and you wanna let me know in the comments, you can leave a, I don't think there's a bookshelf to put as an emoji. Um, what can we do? How about a bicycle? Because I have several different bicycle things on my shelves. So leave a bicycle emoji in the comments down below to let me know that you got to the end. But that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Come here. Come here. Come here.